This is a bulletproof vest designed to stop rifles. It was created by a man who had a lot of intelligence and a hell of a lot of courage because he was the first man to ever test concealable soft body armor. And that's Richard Davis. Come on here, Rich. Mm -hmm. Big hand for Rich. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> okay. Tell me about this vest. Uh, well, this one, as you can see, it worked in rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> this is Second Chance Hardcore 3. It's sort of a go anywhere, do anything type vest. Uh, you can take the pad out of here and put it inside a deep cover shirt. You've got a rig similar to this, where you can put it out, wear it concealed, goes through airport metal detectors. It's sort of the Soldier Fortune model. They have a Hardcore 2, which is smaller and real cheap. I call it the Peruvian Private model. And I have a Hardcore 4, which is bigger, comes from here all the way down below the groin. And that's that I call the World War I model, in that 10,000 men come out of the trenches and go against machine guns. You want to have that on. This is sort of the basic uh, compromise all around. This is for rifles. For rifles. There's no vest that is totally bulletproof. And on the other hand, there's no bullet that can't be stopped. Uh, this is designed right here. will take a uh, 30 caliber rifle. This vest that Alex is wearing right now will indeed stop a 458 Winchester Magnum. However, today Alex is uh, first time for him here, so he's a little nervous, but we'll just hit him with a 308 NATO ball rather than a 458. We've got uh, five rounds in here just to show you what, what we got. Yours? I'm just going to fire here in the, in the dirt. I'll fire four and leave one. We got one left. You know where you want to put that? Yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Carefully, please. Okay. I'll put my glasses on so I don't get any blasts in my face. Show you the confidence I got in, uh, in Richard Safety and his vest. Okay, you got hands behind your back? Yep. Notice how he's standing with it. Uh, he's not all hunched forward like this. The impact of a rifle bullet will not knock you over. Well, that's one of the things I want to show you. That's, okay. that's true. Thanks for reminding me. Alex is uh, leaning back on his heels here. I want to stay on one foot. One, well, <laughs> can you juggle how we do this? I'll just say, well, I can't hold my foot up that long. But okay. A bullet does not knock you down. Your reaction to the bullet knocks you down. We in okay? Yep. Okay. Let's try and get it right. Here it is. Really didn't feel like much. Much less than a punch. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. I was kidding, folks. There's hardly any bullet to it all. If you think about it, the physics involved, the, the energy received can't be more than the energy transmitted, which means that the bullet had enough power to knock you down but it also knocked down the man firing it. So there's not much to it. Uh, what happens is, just as Richard once pointed out, if you come up and stick somebody in the ass with a pin, the guy's going to jump into the air. It's not the force of the pin, it's just your reaction to it. When you're shot, it, upset, it upsets you. It may hit your nerves, you may jump into the air. I can show you here. Where did I hit exactly? I'm seeing right here. Yeah. Right here. Uh, we'll, 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 cut it. we'll take it apart after. I think you know it didn't penetrate, or I wouldn't be standing here talking. <laughs> Run like 40 miles an hour. So what are you going to do with this stuff? Oh, God, I gotta do that. Uh, okay, basically, this is a soft second chance. Big bruise. Ah. Rich, I'd like you to yeah. shoot me again one time. I want to carefully balance that one foot to prove the point about the bullet not knocking you over. Mm. Got a crazy man here. That, uh, <laughs> Got it on my act, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now be careful. <laughs> I've seen last night, so long. Okay, one around. NATO ball. It's out of there. What the heck? Uh, I'm gonna balance that one foot. Okay, I'll just watch right here and. Okay. Okay, so you can get a good gang on that. He's got him balancing one foot. Yep. Okay. Nothing to it. <laughs> Just a lot of fluff.